Let's go unbox a brand new one so you can see what you get. When you receive a brand new one, you will get a box that looks like this. I'm going to open the box. First thing we're going to do is just this packing material. We're going to take that out. Two of them there. Here's a manual, and we'll go through that later. And there's a handle right in the middle. You can kind of see it there. And we're just going to pick up on that handle, take off the styrofoam, set it there on the table. This has come packed really well. It's got plastic. We're going to take this out. We're just going to pick that up. There's a remote here. We'll go into that. Take off the tie here. The camera folds into the handle. I'll explain that in a minute. Take off the packaging. Take off this bubble wrap on the arm. And there you go. The Onyx Death Set. This is a beautiful machine. You know, I'll often hold the remote and then grab the handle. It's very lightweight. Notice there's a master switch back there. We're just going to set it there and get the power cord. So, in the bottom of the box was the power cord, and I'm going to undo that tie. So now I'm going to plug my power cord in to an outlet. Then I'm going to turn the unit so you can see where you plug it in. I've got the remote. Let me do that. So I'm just going to plug it in. And then remember, we have that master switch. I'm going to turn that on. Bring my camera up. So I'm going to just put a business card under there so you've got something to look at. Okay, we're just going to run through the controls of this Onyx Deathset HD Portable Video Magnifier. Um, the camera can have three views. It can look at the desktop, it can look at self-view, personal hygiene. Um, I can also turn the camera, drop the lens, and it'll look at something at, at a distance. There's a picture that's 20 feet away I'm looking at there. Um, and I can bring it back just to look at my desktop. So let's review all the controls. So here's the remote. Very colorful. I'm going to zoom in, press the plus button. And I'm going to move it. I'm moving the remote on the table. Um, in case you're wondering, I'll show you my hands out here. And I'm just... I'm moving the remote, but anyways, um, at the very top, upper left, we have the green power button, and that powers the unit on or off. To the right, we have an advanced button, and that allows us to go in and, and change what we call color mode. I'll explain that. And then this red button is called the find button, and it, I push it and hold it down, and it puts crosshairs up on the screen, 
And now if I move whatever I want to see right in the middle of those crosshairs, let up, it zooms right in on that area. So if I'm zoomed way out, this is a really nice feature to help you find maybe put exactly what you want to look at magnified in a certain area, let up, and it takes you there. That is super cool. I'm going to bring the magnification down by pushing the minus. I can individually press it and it moves up by step, or I can press and hold it and it does continuous. Um, this is my brightness. I can step on it, make it brighter. Notice my hand's getting wider, wider, wider. And I can go the other way and make it darker. Um, so that's what's important is that if you're looking at something, here's just a, um, a brochure, but if I'm looking at something, I want to have the brightness to look just the way I want. I want to have it big enough to see, but small enough to where I don't have to move something around a lot. And I'll explain that. So let's say that I'm, I'm looking at this document. Let's say that I have it that big. Well, I have to move my material to read a line of set to read a line of text and if that's how big I need it then that's what I'll do but when I said earlier you want the text big enough to see but small enough to where you don't have to move it as much now I've got the full column on the screen and I can read it <clears throat> um, I can also look at color and so that's that's a really nice feature but so going back to the remote um, this has an autofocus camera, and focus is always based on the height of something, and we'll get into that more. Um, so that's the find button. This is called the flip button. It's a light blue, and it, it flips the image 90 degrees, and then it's back to normal. So it's a pretty specialized function. Most people don't use it. So this blue button is the mode button, um, and the modes are right now it's in normal color I'm gonna put my other hand up here and push this mode button and you watch my hand so that's normal color there's enhanced color you see there's quite a difference um, and I press it again now it's bright black on white press it again now it's white on black and now it's back to normal color so that's probably the most common way that people will configure these but um, to go back this black button, advance, if I press and hold that down, press the green power button, it takes me into a menu and there's a left uh, check box in the lower left corner. The check means that the mode's enabled. I'm gonna push my mode button. Um, there's black and white. I could, it's right now turned off. I could turn it on, but um, here's a yellow on blue, blue on yellow. Here's a yellow on black. So. To, to make that X a check mark, I push the rotate button. Now it's a check box. So I've added that to my color modes. I'm going to go back. I'm going to press the black button, push the power button. And now, now it's out of that setup. And now if I press the mode, there's normal color, enhanced color, black on white, white on black, and yellow on black. So I added that. So that's a nice feature. Some people require special color combinations. Um, reminds me of someone I worked with back in the 90s who had dyslexia and she could not read black print on a white background. Um, she went to a doctor and they did testing. They determined that blue, I'm sorry, they determined that yellow on a blue background would work for her. And so we sold her technology at that time, it was, it was it was called Kurzweil 3000. Um, it's still an active product in the marketplace. Um, but back in the late 90s, we were one of the early innovators um, that were building turnkey computer systems for people with dyslexia and putting the Kurzweil 3000 on. Um, but anyways, that's where color select, different color mode, different color combinations come into effect. But um, so moving along, we've got the plus and minus. We know what that does. Makes it bigger, makes it smaller. The yellow top one makes it brighter, bottom one makes it darker. And then down here, we've got these two lines. Um, and this is called the freeze frame. And I push it, 
and it freezes the current image displayed on the screen. So it also, as you know, can, can see here in the lower left corner, there's two vertical lines to let you know that that frame has been frozen. I press it again, now it's unfroze. Um, an example where I might use something like that, say I wanted to call this company Vision Helpers. Um, I'm going to zoom in on their phone number. I'm going to change it to white on black because I like that. And then I'm going to freeze it. Put the two lines there. Now that number is frozen to the screen. I pick up my phone. I can call this Vision Helpers. Um, and now I push that key again. It's off. I'm going to change my mode. And I'm going to back down my magnification. So that's the freeze frame. Really nice. This one to the right of it is called Focus Lock, the orange button, and it turns focus on and off. So I push it, you'll notice a lock comes up in the lower left corner. That has locked the focus. So if I bring up this brochure, um, it's not really in focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it. So, so now I'm looking at an autofocus camera. I'm going to hold this document up. I'm going to get my remote so you can see it, and I'm going to press focus lock, symbols locked, and now you notice that my document's not really in focus because it focuses at the height that I locked it. I locked it at that height, so not to be confusing, but where this comes into play is for someone that wants to write, and um, this is large print paper, which is provided by a company. Um, that we like to do a lot of business with. But anyways, I'm gonna put my, get everything set up here. I'm gonna put my pen down here and I'm gonna lock my focus. And now when I write, the camera is focused on the area I'm writing in. Is that cool? And then I'm gonna unlock the focus. So. Anyways, that's focus lock. And then down here at the bottom, we've got this little compartment. It's got a, a door that slides. I kind of put a little pressure on it, and it slides off. Um, and we've got these controls. So this one here, <clears throat> let me get something here to, yeah, here we go. This one here is called the reading lines. Um, and it displays two horizontal or two vertical lines. And I press it. There's my two horizontal. Then these white buttons underneath change the width of the two lines. And then the black buttons change the up and down location of the lines. And if I go back and hit this again, now, I'm, now I've got vertical lines. The same thing, I can change the location. can, you know, do different things with it. Um, or someone might use that. If I go back to this Vision Helpers brochure, you know, say I'm reading at magnification level like that, I can use the line markers to kind of help me to read. So it's for extra guidance. Um, and I press them and eventually they turn off. Then to the right we have mask and we can display shades. These are shades. You can kind of see a little bit what's behind the, the shade. I can change the width of it, I can change the location just like I could with the line markers and I press it one more time and now we're, we have what we call masks and the same thing I can I can push these buttons which change the size of it, this is going to change the location and again that might be for someone that needs less information on the screen and I push that again and it does the vertical version um, and then I push it and it's off. And then when we are done using those functions we can put the cover right back on. A lot of people don't use line markers or shades and blinds but they're there if you need them. Just a couple more things to say. So the power button I'm going to press it and it's going to turn off. Um, and so that turns off the full unit. I want to mention there's a, a manual that comes with the Onyx desk set and it's going to tell you every detail about everything. But 
What I really like is they have this quick reference card and this is a review of all the controls and so this really is everything you need to know. I'm going to come back and I'm going to press the green power button which will turn this on. It takes about 30 seconds to fully power up, much like a computer. So there's the quick reference card, and I always recommend that people keep that by the machine. Then if you have any questions or you need to refer to what a particular button does, you can look at it. Um, you know, remember with the remote, you can make it bigger. So if you need to review something, you can do that. And uh, it has an actual picture of the remote on the left side, which is really nice. So I'm all done. I'm going to press the power button.